There are a few things that really get me riled up as I've been doing this channel for the past couple of years and the one that really, really pisses me off is Chris Walk. Chris Walk is the most irresponsible person to ever walk this planet. If you go to Chris Walk's website and you take his advice, you will die. I am sorry there is no clear way to cut it, you will die. This is a guy who claims he knows nothing about cancer and will give people medical advice. He tells he will give them medical advice. It is infuriating. It is absolutely infuriating. And it gets even better because this is a guy who doesn't even know how to read scientific papers or even understand them. Or if he does, he takes them, cherry picks the hell out of them, and then creates some ridiculous panic article about how awful cancer is. For example, the recent one, and the one I'm responding to, is there was a new uh, paper in The Lancet which covered the 30-day mortality rate from people receiving chemotherapy. And in there... There is lots of stuff going on. It doesn't... There's all sorts of... This This was just purely information. And it even says in the... Um, in the paper... No one actually died of chemotherapy. All these deaths were down to the progress of the disease. Because the main ones they were looking at were lung cancer and breast cancer. And lung cancer is a really big killer. Now... He gets this so wrong and he blames basically chemotherapy for the entire, you know, death. And then you go and read the comments and oh my god, there are people there who have said they've just been diagnosed with cancer and they are now going to refuse chemotherapy based on his article. Chris Walk is an awful, god-awful human being. And you want to know the truth? Chris Walk got incredibly lucky. There is an amazing article written by Orca, who is an oncologist. Now, Chris Walk's original cancer that he had, if he had gone through, he had surgery, and then he was meant to have the adjunctive chemotherapy, which was basically to make sure that they'd gotten rid of everything during the surgery. This guy has the surgery, refuses chemotherapy. Now, if he had had the surgery and, and the chemotherapy together, Orca said that there is a 66% chance of survival. Not having the chemotherapy, and he had to consult other oncologists on this, and they all agreed that his chances would be brought down to about a 30% survival rate. Chris Walk rolled the dice and got incredibly lucky. That's all he is. And to go around and promote the kind of ridiculous quackery he promotes. And then to go around and telling other people not to have chemotherapy is absolutely irresponsible. He is the most dangerous person on the internet. And I, I am not... People might think that's hyperbolic, but this is a guy who literally tells people not to have chemotherapy when chemotherapy is one of the most, at the moment in time, the best tool we have to treat people with chemotherapy. People who listen to his advice and take it are going to end, end up dying. And as I've said before, we do not keep... Uh, track of people of like this, they just end up dying of cancer. It would boggle my mind to try and actually filter out all these people who go on take the quack treatments and find out what their mortality rate is, because I guarantee you it's a hundred percent. Well, probably around ninety percent, but it's going to be damned high. And they, those people that are in those comment section, are like, please, for God's sake, listen to your doctor, not to Chris Walk, who has no formal medical training in his terms and conditions on his website and blog. 
he takes no responsibility for any actions you might take while reading his blog. He has taken a legal precedent so that if you should follow his you know, example or information, you can't come back and sue him. He is incredibly dangerous. He is it's irresponsible. It's infuriating. It's... I can't understand. I just... It's terrifying. It really is. This guy is... He needs to be stopped. And I'm not sure how you do it. But one of the ways I certainly know how you do it is you do videos like this. And you call him out on his bullshit. You call him out on the fact that he's just written, done, written an entire blog on the fact that um, chemotherapy kills 50% of patients in some hospitals. What are you meant to think if you've just seen that headline? What are you meant to think if you just read his blog where it's basically biased to defaming chemotherapy and not actually reading the goddamn, you know, paper for what it was? He's an absolute lunatic. He really is.